darkest roads and up in the clouds But I've always felt that something's missing That was until I found you right there in the crowd You came into my life and started a fire You made me feel like I could touch the sky, oh There's nothing missing now that you're my guys welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new my name is Lynn White mom of five doing all things homemaking here lots of cleaning motivation tons of decorating and organizing and decluttering and all of that so I'm so glad you are here today we have been kicking off the spring cleaning series I started my first cleaning video of the series last Sunday I spent over three and a half hours cleaning the bathrooms deep cleaning not your mama's normal bathroom cleaning so i will have that in my description box below but today we are going to be doing a speed cleaning i've actually got a to-do list i've started just to help me stay on track i'll be going through all of the tasks on here to help me get this house ready i have more spring clean videos ready to go so i want to go ahead and tackle the mess in here just normal real life mess um, we've been in the midst of a kitchen renovation, so I feel like everything is everywhere. In today's video, we're going to be doing the clutter in there. We're going to be organizing the kitchen. I'm going to be putting the food in the new pantry. I've got all these pull-out drawers, so I'm really excited about that. I've got containers here. I'm ready to go. We are organizing everything in this house. So we are going to be tackling this together. So it's like a Thursday to-do list, spring to-do list, decluttering, organizing, just doing what needs to be done because that's basically what we have to do around here. So I'm also really excited because today's video is going to be in collaboration with Tiffany from Beauty and the Beastons. I know you already know who she is. I think we all do. She constantly inspires and motivates us by just being real and down to earth. So if you guys have not been over to Tiffany's channel or you haven't been subscribed, you got to do that. As soon as you're done watching this video, would you go over there, let her know that Lynn sent you. I have nothing but amazing things to say about her. She is someone that I feel like gets me on a much deeper level. If I'm just being completely transparent, um, I get her, she gets me, and it's just been a really beautiful friendship. Very encouraging very uplifting before she and I became real life friends I would watch her channel and her videos they connected with me and I know they will do the same for you she's got a beautiful family with the most beautiful children and they are starting their process on trying to conceive their fourth so we've both been talking me do six her do four, six kids here, four kids there. That's a lot of babies, but we are all so blessed and I'm definitely blessed to have Tiffany in my life. Again, go check out her channel. You will not be disappointed. Most down to earth, gorgeous mama out there. So please go check her out. And if you're from Tiffany's channel, I'm so glad you're here. When you're here, you are family. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button before you go any further. We have a ton of amazing videos coming up. Also, let me know if you're here from Tiffany's channel so I can welcome you. So I'm going to get to do this to-do list and let these puppies outside because somebody always needs something in this house. Can I get an amen? Let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start off in my bedroom. I always like to start off in either the kitchen or the bedroom. I feel like the rest of the task that I need to do, cleaning, errands, whatever the case may be, flows so much smoother as long as I start in there. I am someone that makes my bed every single morning. Let me know in the comments below, are you a bed maker or you don't even care? Even if it's late at night, I will make my bed before I get in it. I love getting into a just made bed. It just feels so good. I'm 
I'm going to take down um, Hazel's crate. I had really good intentions when I got the puppy to put her in there in crate trainer, but the crying at night just broke my heart. I do not do well with my puppies or babies crying, so she ended up in the bed with me. So I'm going to clean under the crate lots of little furries and dust bunnies here and try to get this room feeling nice and fresh. I noticed when I was cleaning that the dust on the walls was really building up, which is really embarrassing. So I know that I'm gonna do more of a dusting in the house and in here especially, but not on this particular day. So I went ahead and just swept some of the dust off of the walls. I will be doing a an official spring cleaning of the bedrooms with the fans and the ceilings and the baseboards. But today I was just trying to get the house picked up and not so messy. My groceries were delivered. I like to use shipped and have them delivered so I can stay out of Target as much as possible because I feel like I always leave with more than I intended on getting. So once I realized that shipped, there was not an extra charge for Target groceries, I was hooked. So I had the groceries delivered and now I'm gonna put them in these acrylic bins. I got these from Home Goods. The majority of organizational type items are from Marshalls, TJ Maxx, and home goods. I love the things they have and of course they're on discount so that makes me super happy. I have been so ready to organize the pantry. Chris put the drawers in just the night before and this makes me so incredibly happy. You guys, I have not had a pantry going on two months so this is seriously amazing. Now that I was able to empty out some of the drawers, I'm gonna use this one in particular for my coffee and tea. I'm so happy to do this so I can clear up space on the counter. Today has been hmm, rather eventful. I had to stop and take the vacuum to Dyson because nothing is working right now and I need that little cord vacuum or cordless vacuum so bad. So I ran real quick to take that to Dyson. It has been on my to-do list for so long. So I just did it, finally did it. Came home, had the groceries delivered by ship. Helped me stay out of Target. Um, you saw me put those away. 
Now I'm gonna start dinner. It's about 3.30 right now in the afternoon. I'm gonna start that so it can slow simmer so I can get the rest of the stuff done. Tonight I'm gonna make this fire roasted tomato pasta and it's got sausage and penne pasta. It's delicious, it's super easy, and it is so flavorful. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that really quick before we get going on the rest of the stuff. So I don't have a lot of good lighting in here so you'll have to forgive me. We're still waiting to get the electricity put back on in the kitchen. I start off with Jimmy Dean all natural sausage. I do not eat anything with MSG, so this is the type I prefer and it is yummy, you guys. So I would encourage you to give it a shot. I got it at Target. I'm sure any grocery or grocery store sells it. Very, very good. I'm gonna use two cans of the crushed fryer roasted tomatoes and I got a can of tomato sauce just in case. I'm gonna add the two cups or the two cans of the tomato sauce. The sausage is browned about 95%. Any of the other little pieces, it's fine. It will cook in the sauce. I decided to go ahead and add a little bit more of the tomato sauce just to make it really just yummy and juicy because I'm gonna add the noodles to it. Do salt and pepper to your taste. This looks like a lot of salt, but it really isn't. It's a grinder. And I actually got this for Christmas. I love it. It is battery powered. Take some fennel seed. Again, you can season it to taste, but I like fennel seed. Onion powder, Italian seasoning, and stir up and let it slow simmer. So the ship lady was supposed to give me penne pasta, but she gave me elbow and that's fine. It'll work just fine. It'll be just fine. Everything's gonna be fine. Okay, so it's time to check in with my to-do list a little bit. So I did make the bed. I did my shipped groceries, I did my Dyson repair. If I start feeling like I'm getting all over the place because there are so many moving parts, get a little overwhelmed with what I have to do, I will just check in with my to-do list and it kind of helps me ground, it kind of grounds me a little bit. So if you guys start feeling like oh, frazzled, make a to-do list and if you have a to-do list, go ahead and start checking things off. Even things that you have already done, there's something about that satisfaction of checking things off that just feels really, really good. So it's like instant gratification. So that's what I've been needing to do because I definitely feel myself like, oh my gosh, I have so much to do. Um, today's been one of those days where, let me let her down. Today's been one of those days where it's like one thing after another, but that's life. I can't control that. But what I can control is grounding myself and getting focused and doing the things that I need to do because I know if I do these things, then I will, even though I don't feel like it, I'd rather just go bury my head and not do anything. But because I know that I have things to do and that it's gonna feel good to accomplish them, I'm gonna do them. So we made the bed. I put away the crate. I need to vacuum, make the bed. Um, I still need to go there, put the food in the pantry. Um, I'm not doing that yet. I think I'm gonna do that. I might do that tomorrow. This might turn into two days. Did my groceries, Dyson repair. Right, next thing I'm going to do is move on to my office and pick up some of the papers. We're gonna start moving things back into the dining room and the living room like where it needs to go. As you can see, there's still stuff everywhere. So I'm gonna work on this before I lose too many light, too much light, excuse me. Chris is going to be adding a light at the top for me. There are no lights in this dining or this uh, front room. Ruby surely doesn't look like she is worried about one thing, huh? The majority of the papers in here are from my kids. The hall tree is in here and that's where they put their backpacks when they come home from school. And when they start to do their homework, they usually just throw everything on the floor. Um, I'm gonna have a recycling bin for them very soon in here for them to take care of it. I am usually on top of it and honestly they are too, 
but with the renovations going on, we have all just been a little lax and we are getting back into our schedule very soon. Let me know if you guys would like another routine video of just how we get through our day. This office is another room on my list. I need to order the wallpaper and I am gonna completely rearrange this space. I'm ready to make it look beautiful and just have a great place to be creative and to do my work. I am going to prune my piece lily. I've had her for quite some time and while they were doing the drywall and the sanding, I put it outside and I feel like that burned some of the leaves. So I did Google how to do this and they said take off any of the brown leaves right at the bottom and then trim in, trim any of the brown spots on the leaves. So that is what I'm doing. I was very nervous to do this because she was looking rather bare, but I know this process is just temporary because once all of the dead and the yucky stuff is gone, she'll be able to bloom and be beautiful again. I'm going to add the cooked pasta. The elbow actually worked just fine. It didn't bother me one bit. I mean, pasta is pasta in my opinion. So as you can see, I'm very, uh, I have to multitask while one thing is cooking. I have to go clean. That's how it goes. You know how it is. And I am gonna serve this up for Chris, but as you will see in the next few clips, he did not get to get to it first, I did. It was so amazing. So then I'm gonna top with a little bit of ricotta cheese and drizzle with olive oil, add a little fresh oregano, and we are good to go. Whoa, this is good. Usually I use the penne pasta, but Oh my goodness. Y'all been here for a while, you know it's dance worthy. Just sit here for a minute, just take this. I was just gonna take a bite. Mmm. This is good. That was really, really tasty. Wow. All right, next thing on the to-do list, holy moly. It's been a long time since I've made that, just been making regular, regular spaghetti. All right, prune plant, pick up papers. Ta-da! Now I need to order the wallpaper. I gotta order the wallpaper for my floor. Well, hey, Hazel Basil, my lucky love nuts. It is after dinner and I'm gonna use these containers for the cereal. I got these from Target. I saw them home goods. I did not pick them up, so I had to go to Target and get them and they were a little more expensive. But anything to keep the cereal fresh, I am down for it because I am so tired of cereal getting stale. And these are really cool. You just pop them on and they are sealed tight. I showed these microfiber cloths in my last video. I got a pack of 10. I love the color. You guys know if you've been here for a while, this is one of my favorite colors of all time. And I'm gonna put in this little bin here. This was actually a freezer bin that I got probably two years ago and it's just been sitting there in storage. So I decided to go ahead and use it again from Marshalls. Almost everything is Target, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Home Goods. That is my jam, y'all. So I'm gonna roll all these up and put in here. 
just little things to make me feel happy when I am trying to clean. Drown yourself in the neon. You came to this place. Josiah helped me organize this utensil drawer. He was so proud of himself, and honestly, I was quite proud of him too. But when night in the shadows can ease your broken heart. While putting all of the bins back in the pantry, yay, I'm so happy. I cannot even express to you my happiness. I'm also going to put some of the containers in here and I am going to make this like my baking area. I made these labels myself on my silhouette machine and I'm also going to go ahead and add the shelves. Okay friends, it is day two and we are gonna mark more things off of our to-do list. We are now gonna clean the refrigerator because it was looking nasty. Our goal is to get a new fridge. There are some broken parts on the inside. So we're gonna do that, but we are wanting to pay cash for that. So it's gonna take us a little bit of time, but you know what, that is okay. That is the way it needs to be. So for the longest time, I wasn't cleaning this thing out because I'm like, I'm just gonna get a new one. But then my husband told me to pump my brakes and wait a hot minute. So I realized, okay, I'll go ahead and clean it and be happy with what I've got and make the best out of what I've got. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm gonna clean this baby out really, really good. And then I will be using my Thieves household cleaner. It's just a glass bottle with two cap full of Thieves with some distilled water. And that is it, you guys, and my microfiber cloth. And we are good to go. I was going to take all of the parts out of the refrigerator, but honestly, my countertops are full with putting things back in the cabinets. So I decided this go around, I'm just gonna wipe everything down. Let me know how often do you clean out your refrigerator? I try to stay on top of mine, especially when I'm going to the grocery store. I like to go ahead and clean it out. Um, but like I had said, I have not done the greatest job recently. I will tell you this Thieves cleaner is my favorite to use in here. Whenever like the kitchen and anything around food or where my kids are gonna be, I love using Thieves. You only have to use a cap full or two and so much goes a long way. like this don't know what happened to you put my trust in you guess that i couldn't do that oh but i know now I shouldn't trust a word that comes out of your mouth i was kidding myself why did you have to turn into a liar now you're gone These labels I also made from my silhouette machine. I just felt extra one day and decided to do it. 
and I have so many more labels I need to make. So if you guys are ever interested, just let me know and I could definitely let you know how much that would be. But usually there are some creative ways that you can use dollar store stickers or all kinds of things. If you wanna start labeling things and you don't have a vinyl cutter, just Pinterest it and I'm telling you, there's a lot of things you can do. Time for the freezer side. You can see that Josiah, my smoothie loving baby, spilled his smoothie everywhere. So I definitely need to tackle this today and I'm gonna spray this with my cleaner as well. I tried to use a regular old paper towel but it was not cutting it so I will have to use a microfiber cloth. I cannot believe how well they clean up messes. and up in the clouds but i've always felt that something's missing that was until i found you right there in the crowd you came into my life and started a fire it made me feel like i could touch the sky oh there's nothing missing now that you're my zone with cleaning I did not want to have to get up but the paper towel had a good run and it was definitely time to use my cloth these are amazing I'm not sure if I mentioned it but I got it from Marshall's I'm probably gonna go get another pack because a I love the color B I love having all the same color not a whole bunch of mix match and they work so well when I'm with you I feel so much better oh, yeah before you I was just a shell so stuck in the dark You came into my life and started a fire It made me feel like I could touch the sky oh, There's nothing missing now that you're my desire Now all I have to do is to make it mine My goal is to get a French door refrigerator We want to get a counter depth one but again, we're gonna wait to do that for a little while. We also wanna get a new dishwasher and I would be very elated if I could get a new stove and microwave, but you know, I do love to dream. As I'm putting the food back into the freezer, I want to let you know if you guys are curious that the bins that they are in, like I think the little teal one, any of the bins honestly, um, in the freezer are from the Dollar Tree. That is always a win for me. I love Dollar Tree containers. I feel like they're not very sturdy, but when it comes to like the garage or the freezer or things like that, or just like extra rags, crafts, they work great but when I want to use something that's really sturdy I'm always going to go somewhere else
I noticed I had two open containers of smoothie fruit as well as you saw earlier the waffles so I'm gonna take this time to start condensing some things to make more space I'm gonna throw away any of the old food or expired food that we no longer need. I like doing this before I go to the grocery store typically because then I don't buy extra items. I also love to declutter no matter what part of the house because it really keeps me in check with buying things. When you see yourself getting rid of clothes or even food or no, no matter what it is, you realize you don't usually need to go out and buy more stuff. So it is definitely a good reality check for me. Time for our check-in. I like to check in to keep myself on task and see what I've crossed off. Like I mentioned earlier, instant gratification. The last thing I need to do is vacuum. I'm using my water vacuum. I love this thing. This It's not as easy to get out, obviously, because it's got a cord, but man, when you see what it picks up, it is mind-blowing, and I will show you what will be in the canister after I do just this rug. We are done. I have done my to-do list. I'm feeling really good. I just want to encourage you guys, if it takes you more than a day to do whatever's on your to-do list, don't let that discourage you. Not everybody has the time or the ability to do it all in one day. So give yourself grace if it takes you a couple of days. It took me two days and I am just fine with it because you know what? I check stuff off things got done and at the end of the day that's what matters you don't need to compete with anybody you don't need to do more than you can do always try to push yourself a little bit but listen if it's got to take you two days just get back at it when you can you are so important you are so worthy and you are so so amazing so thank you guys so much for watching today's video i hope it encouraged you let me know if you want these Thursday to-do list videos. I can do them every Thursday, but you gotta let me know in the comments below. If you're here from Tiffany's channel, thank you so much for watching. I'm so glad you are here. I would love for you to join my YouTube family by hitting that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. I have so many good videos coming up. We're gonna be doing the Sunday spring cleaning series as well as if you want me to do the Thursday to-do list, I would love to do that. I'm gonna have an updated spring home tour showing off the kitchen as well as lots of cleaning motivation, a lot of decorating, decluttering, and organizing and all things homemaking just trying to make homemaking fun again because we got to do this we might as well have fun and we can have fun together so i would love for you to join me thank you all so 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 much for being here i love you more than you know and make sure you head over to tiffany's channel and let her know that lynn sent you you will not be disappointed i love you all bye